Hello everyone. So for today, I thought I'd do um, kind of like a, a book review, I guess, of this uh, book by Juliet Aristides. It's a beginning drawing atelier, and it's actually a, a workbook uh, on drawing. Um, uh, I first discovered Juliet's um, work last year. I think I was in a in a forum and uh, I saw her books were recommended as being one of the best, especially when it comes to learning drawing. So I bought this book, uh, Lessons in Classical Drawing in um, 2018. And it's such a great book. Um, really well written, just beautiful and inspiring. Uh, and also comes with a DVD that I've seen a few times because it's just really relaxing watching her uh, do do drawings basically. So she did still life and figure drawing, I believe. But I have to admit, I did find this book very intimidating, especially um, for someone like me who, although I've been drawing for a while, um, I mentioned in my other video that um, it was never, I, I was never doing it consistently. So um, an atelier, atelier style of uh, education when it comes to art is something I've always been interested in, but I, I know I don't have the time or the funds to do it. So I thought this, uh, just getting this book was great. But like I said, I was intimidated, so I didn't really do much with it, but I did read it. and. Uh, it's just great and she really inspired me how to to love drawing for what it is uh, as a as an art in itself and not just the beginning stages for painting so uh early last year i saw on amazon that she has this book coming out and uh, i pre-ordered it and i got it on the day it came out to the public and um and when did i get it around april april of this year so i thought i'd do a a review of this book for today because I actually did all the exercises in this book uh, in case you're wondering if this book is worth it I say yes 100% so this this uh, workbook is really it's it's really great so it's a beginning drawing atelier an instructional sketchbook by Juliet Aristides so let's start off first page uh, I actually doodled on it like I was doing my warm-up exercises on here, but it's just this leaf basically, so the leaves. So this col this page I just colored with watercolor, but yeah, that wasn't colored like that. So the contents are this, uh, first one is line, then she goes into shape, third is volume, four is value, five is form, and six is portraits. So it's really uh, great for beginners because she really starts off in the beginning. So she'll have you uh, do like really basic warm-ups. So these are just uh, just pictures, examples from the masters or from from other contemporary uh, artists. So first one is line, like I said. So I start off with with uh, like a calligraphy homework I guess because she says that really uh, writing handwriting is uh, the basic it has uh, the basic action which is the same for a drawing picture so I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> anyways yep so just doing a lot of lines in the beginning and then finding lines in the in the classical classical work of Masters like this one finding the uh, governing lines same here so she'll have you outline all the lines that you can find vertical horizontal diagonal uh, this one says C and this one is the original and that's that's the work so I have to do that part, like kind of recreate the drawing that Leonardo did. Next is shapes. This 
So this one is finding the geometric figures. Finding the pentagram in the leaf. Just really basic exercises, which are great. Like, I think even for for artists who've been drawing for a while, but you really want to learn how the the old masters did it, the how Juliet does it is the classical uh, way that the masters did it. So it's great just to 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 see how they uh, they always start off with just doing the basic basic figures first which is uh i think she called it um scaffolding and this one is uh recreating the drawing so this is the original then where did copying this one, same thing original and this one is uh, the blocking in uh this was the blocking in i did i can't remember Actually, what the original? Oh my god, it's this one. I guess I just copied from it. Same thing. Doing the blocking of the of the dog. Blocking in still life. So it's original. What we have to do. The blocking of the regular shapes. So this original, and what we have to copy. So uh, you you do it the steps that that are shown. So first you do the blocking in, and then is it uh, refining it, and then finding the shadow. Is that this one already? Maybe not. This one is a great section of proportions, which is something I've always been kind of off with. And the importance of measuring for accuracy. I'm not gonna go through the principles that she teaches because um, that's, I think that's why uh, this book sort of being so, so you, you know, I, I, I just don't feel it's fair to share all the knowledge, but I just want to show you basically like what we had to do. And this is original, what I we copied. I ended up coloring mine with a colored pencil. Volume is chapter three. The ellipse, very important. I'm drawing the geometric solids. So these are the originals on top, and then these are what I did. Spheres, cylinders. This one is called adding volume to the drawing. So basically how you combine all the shapes. Oh, what is this? Okay. Look how you combine the geometric solids to form basically the, the basis of the, the still life. Chapter four is value. Just mapping it out, which is, um, I really learned a lot from this chapter. Okay, I will read something here, which I really love, which I, I put a star on it. About mapping, lightly shade your shapes into fairly uniform blocks of values before building richer mid-tones and darks. I thought that was, for me, I don't know. For some reason, that was just kind of click with me. So the original, and what I did. Original, what I did.
making tonal drawings. Drawing strange. I kind of wish uh, yeah, that it's not so white, the sketch, the sketchbook itself, but because most of the originals are in a toned paper. But it's, I mean, it's just a minor complaint. The, the quality of the paper of the book itself is great, so. Form chapter five, rendering form. That's the value sphere. I think almost all the drawing books I've seen has a, some sort of a, a value sphere exercise which really shows you how important it is. Original, my copy. It's not exactly the same. I wish I did, for some reason, I did mine a bit bigger, so it's a bit off. On her YouTube channel, Juliet um, did this as a sample. It's great how she just basically used a skewer so that you get the exact same size and yeah, I didn't do that one. Egg. Pear. This one, I have to admit, is um, one of my favorite pages because when I first saw this, this is what we're supposed to copy, I thought to myself, oh my God, you know those Charles Barks plates? There's no way I can do those. Those are so realistic. But I think I did okay on the exercise, on the copying it. It's really, like to me, it really showed how much I've learned using, using this book. Like, I know for, for a lot of you probably like, oh, I can easily do that. But for me, I, <laughs> that was such a major breakthrough that even though it's not exactly the same as this, but I was kinda, I think I did okay with this page. So just uh, doing the exercise. Considering I thought I wouldn't be able to do it before. So the the last chapter in portraits, oh my gosh. So I have to admit, portraits is something I'm really, I've always been weak on it. And it's because I always rush. I never take the time to do a proper measurements of anything really. Like I just, I would just copy whatever I see. So I have to um, say that this chapter really kind of scared me, but I went ahead anyways. I'm like, well, you know, it's just, it's really, you know, it's just a, a workbook for me, but I thought I'd show it anyway. So some of the exercises here are not good. So I will, I will explain why, because I actually know what I did wrong. <laughs> Thanks to this book. So, so she starts off with uh, understanding the sh shape of the head. And she really talks about, um, the importance of uh, the scaffolding, she calls it, and I agree with the uh, blocking and the basic shapes for hers. And she always, she's always said that you work from the, the large, the more, the bigger shapes into the more detailed one. So this is the original page. This is what I did. The features. And this is the first exercise, the original, and my copy. Original, and my copy. So they, as you can see, they don't look exactly alike. And when I turned it upside down, I can see what I did wrong. But so most of the portrait exercises I'm probably gonna be doing again, because I, I feel like I did rush Except for the last one I'm going to show, I feel like most of the, the, the exercises here, I felt like I rushed it. And some of them I didn't do as what Juliet said, you know, the steps that you should be doing first. So I can, I can see where I went wrong, especially with measuring and proportions like this one. This is the original and this is what I did, which is way off. First of all, I don't know why I did the face much bigger. So... I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> but I think considering <laughs> that I was <laughs> that uh, I was really scared, I, I was like, anyways, I did it anyway. So 
I know, I, like, um, it's the same thing. I turned my work upside down. I could see what I did wrong. So I'm like, oh, but at some point I was just like, oh, it, it was kind of frustrating me. And that's one thing I, I never, I, I didn't really want to feel doing this exercise. So I just thought, okay, you know what? I'll do it again at another time. But uh, when I took my time, I can see that I did better. And when I actually did what Juliet said, um, even though it's still not exactly alike, like I felt like I did better. Like with this one, still not the same. They look like they're just related, really. But <laughs> but I think I'm still okay with it. And this one out of all the ones I've done, this is the last one. I think this is the closest one I've done in terms of likeness anyway. And because I actually did everything like the scaffolding and um and then refining the features and then uh blocking in the shadow and the light is that what it's called I can't remember but i did as closely as uh, she pointed out and i took my time so even though it's still not exactly 100 percent exactly like this which is, anyways, that's like Leonardo da Vinci. So many, I don't know who I'm fooling, but I'm still pretty happy how this turned out. And I think that's the last exercise. And this is the closing paragraph. Closing, sorry, closing chapter. And that is it. So I really highly recommend this book. Um, only minor complaint. I wish it was thicker, that there were more exercises. <laughs> but um, she has another book coming out on figure drawing, which uh, I'm also going to be getting. And she also has other books on drawing. I think the first one was a classical drawing atelier before this one. And she also has a classical painting atelier. So I'll probably be getting that one too later on. But in terms of this book, highly recommend it. These are the stickers I put in there, by the way. The, the book doesn't come like that. So. <laughs> yeah, so that is it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave it on the comment section below. And I uh, hope you liked it. Click thumbs up if you did. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.